Hey guys, it's Ashley Donna here, your favorite exercise physiologist and owner of Pilates X Australia. And I'm gonna show you what to do when you have woken up with a stiff neck and it's in so much pain and you don't know what to do. So, very first exercise to do is we're not gonna move the neck, but we are gonna to start to free up the neck. So, either standing straight or sitting nice and still. Um, standing is probably better. And I want you to bring your arms out in front and I want you to draw one arm back behind you and as the other uh, as the, and the other arm is pushing forward so you can see my arms pushing forward to the camera then we're going to come back through bring the other elbow back behind you and let that other arm go through so if you see from side on you'll be able to see my shoulder my shoulders I should say are moving forward and back so what I'm doing here is I'm creating some space um, it with our thoracic spine and if you notice when we turn our head from side to side which we're not doing now but when we do this we're bringing our chin you know um, just above our shoulders but now I'm actually doing the same thing without actually having to move my neck it's going to start to really allow the brain to trust the movement and think it's safe and then start to let go of some of that locking down stuff that might be happening in that cervical spine so this is a really nice Nice exercise to do is called bow and arrow. You can also stay out the stay on one side and then little tiny pulses. So pulling the elbow back as the other arm comes forward, and then vice versa. Then once you've done that, lifting the shoulders also helps relax the traps. So you can squeeze the traps up and then relax and let them drop. Then we can start to look from side to side, just gently, nothing forced. Once you do that a few times. We're going to take our ear to the shoulder. Once you do that a few times, then we're going to do some static holding. So, I want you to look over one shoulder, tuck the chin down, hand behind the head, pressing that chin further down. And with the other shoulder, press it all the way down towards the floor, holding that stretch there. Then you'll come to do the other side pressing the shoulder down. So you want to hold these about 20 seconds. It really depends on how the neck is feeling. Might be only able to hold it up to 20 seconds. Might be able to do 45 seconds and that's okay as well. Next one is we're going to take one hand behind our opposite glute. So I've got this hand behind the opposite glute, pull that down and then take the ear to the shoulder. So you created a huge space here and then you'll do that to the other side as well. Then another awesome one is, um, T um, taking the ear to the shoulder, tongue press up to the roof of the mouth, and then with that chin, press that chin up to the sky. Right, you can take the hand behind the head, behind the glutes to make it a little bit more intense, and then you can also pucker that bottom lip up to the sky to make it a little bit more intense as well. So I have to stop talking here, you're gonna push it up like this, and you're gonna feel that stretch underneath that jawline. And then you go to the other side, take the ear to the shoulder, hand behind if you want, lifting the chin up, pucker that bottom lip. Good, and then lift the shoulders and relax. That's gonna really help any sort of neck pain um, or any sort of lack of mobility into the neck as well, but mainly let's start, if the neck is way too sore and you just can't move it, you don't have to. You can just start with your thoracic mobility rotation work here and then work your way up to the other exercises. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.